As photographers, we just want to fill up our backpacks and go out with all our gear when we go onto locations. But sometimes you just need to make it a little bit simple and just take one lens without having to carry all your gear around. And by doing that, you get to focus just on one focal length or a particular lens and get used to that one. So today I've come out with something a little bit special. This is a vintage lens, Minolta 50mm f2. So I'm out here in a local forest, which is only five minutes away from where I live. And that also kind of adds to the making photography a little bit more simple. Going somewhere close by, sometimes you might find something great and by using a lens that you're kind of stuck with, you're going to have to look at things in a different way. And we'll talk about the settings I'll use. Uh, with this being a vintage lens, the aperture is controlled on the lens and there's not much communication with the camera apart from the shutter speed and the ISO. I found this great composition here. There's this dead tree just lying in between all these ferns and everything's just vibrant and green. And you got the end of the tree at the bottom just sticking up and this got this great contrast to it just to kind of break off the scene a little bit. And the one great thing is that the sun is shining through into the background and lighting up the side of the tree as well. And it just adds this really nice feel and life to the image. So normally what I would do is shoot quite low just so you get some depth in the image. But because of the way the tree is lying and I kind of want you to see everything the way it is, I'm actually going to shoot this quite high. Just to get enough detail and depth out of this, I'm going to shoot at f5.6 and that should be enough just to bring out detail pretty much from the front to the back. It might blur out just slightly towards the back, but that's okay, you're still getting quite a lot of detail in this. So because it's a little bit shaded in here, I've had to put up my shutter speed a little bit faster just to be able to freeze any motion that I make so that the image is sharp enough. So I've got it set to 320th of a second and that should be just fast enough. But because of that, I've had to pump up my ISO a little bit just to bring back some of that light. I've got my ISO set to 640, which is just enough to bring back the shadows. And obviously in post, I'm able to bring back the shadows a little bit more if needed. So what I'll do here is I'll focus around mid range. And with this being a manual lens, it's a little bit hard to see exactly where I'm focusing. But with the Sony cameras, you're able to magnify into an area and basically fine adjust your focus just to make sure that everything's exactly where it should be and then basically just take the shot. So one great thing about having a 50 millimeter lens is that it's pretty much the same focal length as your eyes. And that kind of makes things a lot easier when it comes to trying to find a composition. So I'm not exactly in the prettiest of places right now. There's a lot of trash and stuff everywhere. Being able to find a composition and knowing that the camera is basically going to capture the exact same thing that I'm seeing is actually really helpful. Um, so right now I'm by this water here that probably would be flowing if it was raining. So it's pretty flat right now. So I'm not going to be using a slow shutter speed or anything to get any motion out of this. And then I got all these ferns here in the background and then just some rocks where the water kind of stops with a log that's kind of fallen down in the background. The only problem I have is that further on in the background there is a pipe with running water. So I kind of need to make sure that I don't get that in the shot. So one thing I'll be doing is actually shooting this pretty low just on top of the water which will also cut out the pipe in the background. I'm actually gonna shoot this at F4 because I don't really want too much detail on this. With the water being in the foreground, I don't really need that as my focus and I don't need much detail in that. So what I'm gonna do is just focus on the rocks and then the tree in the background will be slightly blurred out as well, but it'll add some really nice depth to the image. But as I'm not using a tripod for this, I do need to set my shutter speed fast enough. So I got it again at 320th of a second, which will stop any motion that I make. But because it's a little bit shaded in here, I've had to put up my ISO to 1000 just to bring back the shadows. And it will add a little bit of grain, but in this situation, it actually might add a little bit of character to the image.
Okay, so I'm done for today with this, guys, and I actually hope you learned something from this. Just remember to keep it simple. From time to time, instead of taking all your gear with you, go out with just one lens and get used to using that lens. By doing that, you'll learn how the lens works and what doesn't work with the lens. Take your time with your compositions and sometimes what you see doesn't always work, but just changing your angle just slightly will make a huge difference and will often create quite a stunning image that you probably didn't even think you were gonna get. So pretty much the lesson for today is just to make it simple and stop taking all your gear with you every time because in turn that will wear you down and you have too much options and you kind of tend to focus more on what gear you're using rather than the image you're taking. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you liked the images that I took. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up because that really does help with this and I'll see you guys in the next video.